St. Patrick was a gentleman, he came from decent people. He built his church in Dublin town, and on it built a steeple. His father was a Gallagher, and his mother was a Brady. His aunt was an O'Shaughnessy, and his uncle was a Grady. Here is the bold St. Patrick's fist, he was a saint so clever. He gave those snakes an awful twist, and he banished them forever. <laughs> Oh, the Wicklow hills are very high, and so is the hill of Hosser. Oh, but there's a hill much higher, still much higher than the Boser. On the top of this high hill, St. Patrick preaches sermon, which drove the frogs into the bogs, and it banished all of vermin. Here is the bold St. Patrick's fist, he was a saint so clever. He gave those snakes an awful twist, and he banished them forever. <laughs> Oh, there's not a mile in Aaron's Isle where dirty vermin musters, for he put his dear forefoot and he murdered them in clusters. The frogs went hop and the toads went plop, slop, dash into the water, and snakes committed suicide to save themselves from slaughter. Here's the bold St. Patrick's fist, he was a saint so clever. He gave those snakes an awful twist and he banished them forever. <laughs> No wonder that those Irish lads would be so bold and frisky, for the dear Saint taught him that as well as making whiskey. No wonder that the Saint himself understood distilling, for his mother kept a putching still in the town of Vanaskillen. Here's the bold Saint Patrick's fist, he was a saint so clever. He gave those snakes an awful twist and he banished them forever. So here's the bold Saint Patrick's fist, he was a saint so clever. He gave those snakes an awful twist and he banished them forever. <laughs> St. Patrick's Day.